discusses the biggest topics in dancehall. From ludic controversy involving Vibes Cartel and Shensia to Aishana's equal rights, patron safety at Alkaline's shows, to security minister banning recordings behind bars. Good thing, me not beg you to. The Kip Bridge hit that was never officially released. Welcome, happy life. Kipper will be here to talk about that and takes on Aishana's equal rights. Joe Bogdanovich is very confident that he and his team will deliver a bigger, better sum fest as promised this year. Skeeter Borel will be here to tell us what's behind the confidence. All coming up right here on stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. We say equal rights and justice. No ignorant people like a this. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back, Joe Bogdanovich and his team promised a bigger and better 25th anniversary staging of the greatest reggae show on earth, Reggae Sun Fest. And so far, everything is indicating that they are on track in delivering on that promise. For the first time ever, the Sun Fest lineup is fully booked with months to spare. The show is launched and appears to have very strong corporate sponsorship Support. Red Stripe presents Reggae Subfest 2017. The Scatterbarrel is on our set right now to tell us what we don't know about this much anticipated Reggae Subfest 2017. Sir, blessed love. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Seems like you guys have done a lot of work since <laughs> the last, since the reset since in the 2016. Last, since the last stage in, I must tell you, like, it's like Joe, CEO, get up September morning and say, yo. Work start right here, so you know. Okay. So planning started right there, and um. Cause we, you started booking from last year. Yes. Okay. Definitely speaking to a lot of artists, putting things in place. A lot of the artists, few of them that we have now, we would have never seal up agreement if we never started mm -hmm. from then. Such as name some of them. For instance, Alkaline. Mm -hmm. You know, <clears throat> um, we had to reach out because. Apparently, he had a lot of requests for shows at that time of year, mm -hmm. and a lot of artists go on tour that time of year also. Yes. So a lot of them was thinking of taking a break from the show also. So we had to engage them early out, and we are a new team, so we had to be um, take precautionary measures and understand that we need to start early, just in case we are incurring any problems and so forth. And so said, so done. We've mm -hmm. already solid book lineup and everything. Title sponsors looking good. Okay, you're back to that, because that has been <coughs> missing for a little bit. Yes. Red Stripe is big. Red Stripe is, is huge. Red Stripe is huge. Bigger a huge and better brand. Than, a, than before? Yes, because they are playing a more intricate role in, in terms of production, yes. the whole marketing and so forth, both international and local. And they have a very strong team. Mm -hmm. um, they have given us a whole lot of support and uh, made a lot of commitments. And it's so far so good they have been delivering on all of them. And the show is looking very positive. So is it fair to say that Sunfest is revitalized, is back on track? And well, the entire... And really bigger and better as you... As it, it has to be bigger and better because, mm. I mean, we're a new team, mm. we're fresh, and we're more hungry. So we want to make huge, sta huge statements, especially right now. We, we worked behind the scenes last year with the, the outgoing directors, and it was well. We learned a lot, so we're going to apply that knowledge now and add to it and try to make it bigger and better. All right, so you, there was a New York launch yes, last was. week. Yes. Um, how was that? Well, it was more of a media launch where you in, invited members of the press and different media houses to come in and just to um, break ice and let them understand what, what's the concept this year and what we're looking forward to accomplish, mm -hmm. the lineup, of course, and just to provide a nice, relaxing environment in like the 90-something floor down at the middle of Manhattan. It was a very good, warm, atmosphere. Yeah. Part, of the, the, uh, part of the renewal was to bring people to Jamaica. Yes. More people to Jamaica. Definitely. Well, if you look already, the year has started out good for the Jamaica Tourist Board, who was, who was a part of, us, mm -hmm. of the planning as well. Um, they, they said they, they grossed like $9.6 billion from tourism revenue 
so far. Mm -hmm. So we're still looking forward to... Um, a piece of that money? <laughs> well, we're looking forward to getting some of that um, attraction from the international community. And that's why with a brand like Red Stripe on board, we actually have been provided that because we have an upcoming launch in um, Florida um, mm -hmm. next weekend. And it should be great, you know, because we're targeting an international audience. Okay. So that's what it's about this year. All right. So tell, tell us about some of the big um, pullers on the lineup. Apart from the alkaline, there's Gully. Well, Mr. still have to alkaline. I can't tell you how much of a great pull he is right now because aside from his show that he did the other day, which mm -hmm. saw a surplus amount of people, we're looking forward to get Montegonians and all of St. James, Negril. There's a lot of people in the rural areas who did not get to even come close to that show. Right. Okay. So you can expect that. And this is the next <coughs> big thing. He's that, not doing anything before no, that? No, he has given in us. In Jamaica. No, he has given us a commitment that he's going to be focusing on doing a proper show, a proper presentation. So he wants to continue working on his catalog and mm -hmm. doing rehearsals because he's definitely coming to boom up with some first stage. I mean, you have Gully. Mavada has not been on the show for a, a few years, as I, I, I would imagine. So you can look forward for him to come and do a great show. And um, of course, Massacre and Idonia, they might do very well in the streets right now. Mm. So he's look, looking great right there. And the dance all night is going to be great because you still have young Jamil and a few others who always ignite the stage. Spice, you know, you know she not really disappoint her audience. Mm -hmm. So what we were really doing as a part of the production is encourage our artists to up the game. You know, because the stage and how it is set up determines how well the artists look. Mm -hmm. Lighting, you know, props and all of that, so we want to work close with them and, and, and give them a good show if we can. Where's Warlord? <clears throat> Bounty. Bounty is smack right in the middle of the show, you know. Because, dance all night still? Yes, right in the middle of dance all night. Not closing, because you know him doing enough closing. And Beanie? Beanie Man is on the Saturday night. So why didn't my great night second? Warlord to Saturday? Well, Bounty Killer is a dance hall general. Yes. And he never have no qualms or issues with the representing of dance all night. Let me tell you who or who may think yes. can now, are now qualified to be mm -hmm. on Saturday night, yes. regardless of what you call the night, because yes. the name don't matter to me. Yes. Sizzler Kalonje. Definitely, you're right on Cable that one. Sizzler is actually, Bound to Sizzler killer. is actually Deal. closing Saturday night. Well, Saturday morning, rather, or what will be, Sunday morning. Sizzler is actually closing okay. the night second. So these are now concert <laughs> artists, and it's about catalog. That's, that's how I would, it's about a show, what presentation, I would use, yeah. use to define yes. Saturday night. Is and, and it's a concert. Don't forget, say, aside from being a concert, it's a festival. So we want to create that atmosphere with food and beverage. Okay. We want people to come out and, and enjoy the food, drink some red stripes, spread out the mat if they can pitch one tent, then pitch one tent. Bring the family and have so a you're, great time. you're making sure that the festival experience <laughs> yes, is delivered? definitely, because that's what it's about. When, when you hear reggae some first in the future, you're not supposed to say, who's on the lineup? You're supposed to say, how much is the ticket? Yes. And how, can I get a hotel room or whatever? Okay. Because you're coming for a festival atmosphere. Fair enough. Yeah, you have some dudes from Nigeria, they bought like 200 tickets one time. Really? Yes, and I'm talking about prime top VIP tickets. So it is looking very good on the international side. We just need to engage the local people to come out because we don't want to leave out the local diaspora. That's very important because we have a fall back in love with the music. All right, one more <clears throat> thing I want to ask you about security now. Because mm -hmm. there was this thing about um, you promising that, mm -hmm. you know, there'll be sec people will be, pictures will be secured on dance all night. Well, the alkaline, yeah. Yeah. the alkaline, mm -hmm fans or whatever. Well, if you look at the track record of Oregon Reggae Summer Fest, there has never been any issues with security. Only once? I think there were some bottles, was it? Bounty Beanie. Yes, exactly. That so Once in, its, in the 25 years. Exactly. Yes. So really, they have it down to a perfection, and I've really seen where they're going all out this year to make it even better. Um, they so have a formula. I, yeah. I would say to <laughs> troublemakers not to head to something. Don't try it because as it, right away they grab you. Yeah, they come like New York police. As one call is, I'm swarmed up. Yeah, man, I'm serious about it. Yeah, so it, it's basically a secure event on the outside and parking as well because parking spots will be well lit. Mm -hmm. Transportation from hotels to venue. We have a lot of things put in place from um, outside of Montego Bay area. We have transportation that can bus you to the venue as well. A lot of things in place. Aisha, is on mm -hmm. the lineup? Not, a, not at this time. I doubt she will be on this year because posters are already printed and contract signed and everything. You sure you, you won't have to put her out? I don't for, think so. For equal rights? Well, we don't really, the, the show is not based on no one artist, you know. I know. So if an artist is going on. the fire where she'll burn, you know. We applaud the fire where she'll burn and we shall all the best still, but some fest is regular, some fest. Poppy, where's Poppy? Poppy's not on the lineup. <clears throat> Why? 
Popcorn is not on the lineup, so is not, um, so is um, Octave. <coughs> um, is there a feud going on, by the way, with you and Poppy? I you, don't feud with nobody. You have no, <coughs> no dispute with Popcorn? Why would I have a dispute okay. with Popcorn? Okay. Uh, to Octane, is there a feud going on with him? No feud at all. We, we, we kind of load or something there because Dunson been through, been there, done that. Mm -hmm. So if somebody have a dispute or an issue, it's them alone have an issue. We would have no issue with no artists. Okay, yeah. but is there a reason why Octane, Octane is not on the line? Well, I hear, I hear stuff. I hear them say um, he was approached by the team to, to do the show, and we refused to, to put him on because he didn't want to close, but um, that is far, very far from the truth. I don't know if his management said something to him in that regard. We only approach, he inform, as far as his, a member of his team is concerned, a member of his team booked for Spice as well. So we approach his team, Cool Entertainment, mm -hmm. in regards of to booking Spice. We did not make no mention of Octane because nothing is wrong with an artist taking a year off. I think it's good for their brand mm -hmm. because, I mean, you can't just have people in your face every year. I don't want to a year off last year, taking um, puppies off this year, and he's still qualified to be on it. But you, in a, as, a pro, as a promoter, you still have to consider the artist and their brand, and you don't want. So there is no them. real dispute. There is none the whatsoever. If there is, we apologize. I don't know what. And none with Papi neither. None at all. All right, sir. Thanks. Thanks for clarifying okay. those for me. No, you're not on it. We're going. Oh. You're, you're but still. But I'll try to escape the hard question. And we're coming back come. to talk about a lot of topical issues. Yeah. Scatter yeah. from from equal rights. We right, equal to, rights? Yeah, we're going to talk about that. Or Peter Tosh. I know that song that Peter Tosh. Equal rights, yes. right? We're going to talk about that. Yeah. We're going to talk about also about the ludic controversy mm -hmm. and so much more. So much more topics that have come up in the last four months so far in 2017. And we'll be talking about that big, bad panel will be here after the break. We'll be back. I just got started. What you think one round can do? Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. When it comes to international mainstream, there hasn't been much upward mobility in terms of dancehall since the start of the year. But the local space has not been short of newsworthy developments. From the Ludi controversy involving Vibes Cartel and Shensia to Aishana's equal rights, patron safety at Alkaline's show, to security minister banning recordings behind bars. A panel discussion right now, right here on our stage, on all those issues, including their impact on dancehall. From the star, Curtis Garrison Campbell. Media personality, music executive, Nikki Z. And Skata Borel, who is businessman, producer, TV personality, and analyst. And equal rights advocate. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, so welcome. Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Curtis, good to have you for the first time, sir. Thanks for having me. Good. Nikki. Back again. And yeah. the big oh. man. So let's start with the big one last week that everybody was talking about, um, the Ludi controversy. Was it much to do about nothing, or, or was it worthy of the time spent on it, all of us spent on it trying to it understanding is, it and so on? It is coming from the desk of Adija Palmer. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you know, the Gaza fans, them stay, them on alert. So once they release something, they make a pitch on it. Yes. Um, it is a lot, has a lot to do with a lot because you have an incarcerated singer who values his brand and um, not earning from shows and a lot of stuff. So he has to be meticulous about where his work is being placed. Yes. Because he still have to earn. <clears throat> I don't think it's a bad thing on the side of Shensi and Ramesh Entertainment. It's good for her, right? Great for her if they know mm -hmm. how to spin it. So whether it goes on or not, it's up, totally up to them because they have to know how to spin a controversy like that because when you're endorsed, no matter which way you're endorsed, when you're endorsed with a giant, such as a Vibes cartel, all eyes are on you right there. Mm -hmm. and, to, and, and to get that amount of attention can be bought. Was it deliberate, <laughs> Curtis? It was it designed to get attention? When I, when I saw the story, and I saw that Vibes cartel was the one that sent, sent out the comments saying this is not my son, the first thing I thought was that 
this is the master at work again because we know that Vibes Cartel is the king of publicity stunts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Shensia, she was creating a buzz on social media, but she was not the, the main topic, so to speak, in the commercial media. However, mm -hmm. when Vibes Cartel made that comment, Shensia got two back-to-back -back lead stories. Mm -hmm. You understand? So I felt it was all planned. Vibes Cartel later took down his song. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Vibes Cartel has a, has, has, has a reputation for doing things like these, you know, he's a master of this. So I, I think it, it was an all a, a publicity stunt. It worked for Shensia, Nikki? I, I think the jury's still out on that one right now. I think it worked for her in the aspect of there's never any bad press as long as you know how to come back from it. Mm -hmm. But I think at this point, what they might want to try to do with Shensia is, is show a different side of her. Instead of just the dance hall side, there's so many different elements to her as an artist. She can actually sing. I don't mm. know if people know that. You know, and she does write songs. She's a very good songwriter. So I think right now what they need to do is um, have her come out different okay. than before. But isn't it too, a little bit too early for that? Never Since um, Dancehall got her the critical attention mm -hmm. and the, the breakout, shouldn't she be she, a little more, a little more stable, a little more she advanced has dance before. Hall songs out. She has dance hall songs out. She can push those. But I think if they only try to show the audience that side of her, then she's only going to be attacked by that type of an audience mm. or looked at by that type of an audience. Yes. So she has a new song called Anonymous where she's more singing. People talk but they don't know how. People think it's a comeback to the cartel controversy, but the song was actually there prior. It was just more about people paying attention to the gossip around her and not to the fact that she actually has talent. People are questioning They're her talent. They're questioning her talent. They're questioning if she's but, a real songwriter. They're saying she looks more uptown, even though she's not from uptown, she's from mm. the country. So they're making their assumptions, but all they have to go off is the songs they've been presented, which are all dance hall songs. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing is, people have been judging um, Shensia based on the success of Ramesh. They tend to do right. that when you are backed by a company with, with, with a major muscle. Down sound artists tend to go to right. that as well. So even if your song is getting objective play, right. they'll be like, oh, a Joe money, yeah, a Ramesh right. money. Mm -hmm. So it's up to her now to they prove. They really are selective listening. Yes. Right. They're not really listening In a Jamaica, you have to pretend like so you're poor and thing, because and, they love to root for the underdog. Right. They don't okay. want to feel like, oh, it's a money thing, make you a shot. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's up to her now to to use our natural talent and prove and to the people them and say, yo, I can do this, I can do that. Does she have, in your view, Skato, mm -hmm. the critical street cred for dancehall? Well, the street cred for dancehall has shifted because one time you'd have to go hardcore totally and DJ mm -hmm. certain things. Yeah. And then the other side, you have to DJ as a female, you have to sing derogatory stuff and so forth. Depends because she's right now a, a, a ambassador. ambassador. Yes, okay. so it, I think it is gonna be a, a bit more hard yeah. to penetrate the streets when you're a corporate ambassador and doing dance hall. Oh yeah. So there's an obstacle right mm -hmm. there. Do you may gain earnings but you will lose in terms of penetrating your hardcore. So family. she has a bit of a challenge in yes. front of her. Because there it is that Nikki's yeah. talking about her yeah. switching Nikki over to singing as well. Show, showing off her talent. Because to what he's saying mm -hmm. it's true. She now you're driving. But yeah. that's a massive risk, you know. Because the, the crowd, the people accept her as dancehall. And for her to switch mid, right here in the climb, that could be disaster. Okay. But I think that she's been steered towards focusing on the dancehall because we lack female talent in the dancehall arena. Mm -hmm. But I don't think mm -hmm. she should pigeonhole herself there, especially now with the corporate look. Mm -hmm. In dancehall, there's only one audience to get you started, mm -hmm. the core audience. The hardcore. Because when you have a core audience, you don't want to get up and do a song every month. Right. Core audience, stick by you. With um, corporate, when you become a corporate entity now, you are there because the corporate, they put you out there. Right. So you don't ride based on your body of work, you ride based on the push that you're getting from the corporate right. entity. So it, could, it could be conflicting interest, you it say? Can, it can be bad for the artists if they don't even up the talent with the promotion. Right. Wow. 
Wow. Because you put me out there too much, yes. people have big, great expectations, it and my fans a, don't grow with me. It takes a lot of skill to, to balance yes. both corporate and I see Octane and Octane do a great job at it yes. with That's Digicel. the point I was going to yes. make. Excellent job. Because I obtain it on the only one, of yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Digicel and American. And Busy Signal as well. Right? Yes. And yes. he has managed to yes. go over 10 years without yes. using expletives or yes. anything like well, that. And still have a, kind of double, yeah. a core, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a core, a core hardcore yeah. audience. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a so, case. Okay, so the, the minister wants there to be no more recordings mm -hmm. from behind bars. Right. Was there recording? We, we don't know. That's what I'm saying. Is it not official that <laughs> people are recording behind bars? The, the only thing we know mm. to be official was, ja the, the, Jack the, York. was the project, which yeah. was a project, yeah. um, rehabilitation through music, yeah. was a project at GP, at yeah. the General Penitentiary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, Cure got some recordings done under that program. Yeah. So is it now official that recordings are taking place behind bars? Anybody knows? Well, no, let's, no. let's, 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 mm -hmm. let, I, I don't have, a, I don't have no in, in, inclination of that, but I just hope after the next three months, Jamaica forget about that law has just been yeah. passed, and we can't pick up and move forward again. As you do every other law. Nothing sticks. It's just news for the moment. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. The, the panel is. <laughs> <laughs> this panel won't see here songs, regardless of where oh, they're made. Hey. Right? That's what we're about. We're about music. They're made behind bars. So, you know, once you it's good know. music. Yeah. One of the, the issues coming up this week was um, our clients' concerts. and. Patron safety. Yeah. Is it now in your reporting in your own um, research and, and following Alkaline's career, are you finding that there are potential at least for violence and people get rowdy and out of order and disorderly? At, uh, at, at, is it now something that is part of his brand now? I you think, think they need to not blame the artists and also put some blame on the promoters and mm -hmm. people who organize these events. Mm -hmm. I mean, because the artist can only be liable for so much of the blame. If you're not implementing proper security systems or proper fencing, proper anything or any for your patrons, then incidents can happen. Mm -hmm. You know, Alkaline is a popular artist. Regardless of the songs he sings, he's a popular artist, so you should expect an abundance of people to want to come out and see him. And if you don't have enough security outside of your venue, mm -hmm. in place prior to your venue, things can happen and it's not just alkaline this is in hip-hop world this is in rock this is in any music even in pop this can happen why was there a, a cancellation in london do you do you know curtis first and foremost i think this whole thing about alkaline shows being um violent and support i think it's overrated yeah mm -hmm. uh it has a lot to do with the promoters as nikki z pointed out they saw in london they yes. they had a small venue right. they sold more tickets than, space. Than, than the venue could hold. And then there were people okay. outside still wanting to buy oh. tickets. So, so it wasn't yeah. about Alkaline? No, it's not about It was Alkaline. about the promoter, promoter yes. overselling. Right. And it's the same thing with Alkaline. It's about him because it's his fans that want to see him. But it's not No, it's not about it's not him. his fault. It, it, yes. In our words, the, 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 the authority wasn't after him. No. They weren't, it was not a statement about him. It was a statement about the way this is being promoter, done. if you oversold a venue, we're not going to allow well, a concert. Here. Imagine if you I've bought your ticket. Imagine if you bought your ticket to see Alkaline, mm -hmm. and you know he's not going to be there often because he doesn't live here. Yes. So this is your one chance to see your artist that you're a fan of. You bought your ticket in advance, and then you get to the show and you see this, and now you can't even get in. Uh, all right, so the consensus is that Carnival, new life, mm -hmm. has been injected in Carnival celebrations yes. in Jamaica. Take it, Nikki. You feel I had that a way? blast. I'm, I'm you, not a You played mass, you didn't, you, didn't you? I did. Oh, okay. And I'm not even a big Soka fan. Um, you know, but this year, because I, I do some work with Bacchanal Jamaica, uh, I said I'm going to go on the Smirnoff float. So I figured if I'm going to be on the float, I'm going to throw myself into it. And I did this year. And I have to say, I always hear people have the debate dance hall versus Soka. How come we don't have a dance hall? Um, there are two different temperaments. Just like we were talking about with the alkaline situation, it, it, it was a total different energy. Nothing in there was aggression. Nothing in there was about Ooh, what do you have on? Even though it was our costumes, mm -hmm. I think once we took our initial selfies, no one even cared about that. It was just 
everybody was just together and having fun. I danced with so many people, and I don't even know their names. <laughs> I was just, you know, grabbing um, on body parts everywhere. Where was Scatter? Scatter? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> me stay home, lock up my house. <laughs> and call the police and report the carnival. Yeah, I read his tweets. Stuff. He was, he was, uh, seriously? Um, Not yeah. was the... we were bad mind, man. He was bad minding. <laughs> really and truly, I'm jealous for the support we carnival get from Jamaica mm -hmm. community. From you know, Jamaica. Reggae slash dance hall, I get the support. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So me just tell him, I'm call New Kingston police, but I would have never pick up. I don't know why. <laughs> they were busy getting dancers. Yeah. <laughs> jealous. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. It's, 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 it's. Some call Pan Dance Hall. But you know what to do. I mean, maybe some fish should have a parade, you know? Yeah, we need. So it's looking like it's going to be a big one next year. Um, do you expect growth next year for, for it to continue to grow? Growth for some. Some will decline. Yeah. yeah. Some, some might not happen next year. Yeah, but year. The, 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 the celebration itself, will it grow next year? I think yeah. Given so. the interest that Jamaicans are showing it. Yes, I, I think, think the so. celebration. And foreigners are coming to Jamaica. Yeah. Understand that that was up by 30% this year? Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and recently, one of, the, one of the promoters was saying that the hotels in Jamaica are way better than the others in the Caribbean. So, purse and cheaper. Mm -hmm. And it's cheaper to come here yes. as well. It's so, a, yeah. a lot of purses that would normally go to some of the Caribbean yeah. islands might be choosing yeah. Jamaica. Hotel rates are down at this time. Yeah. Right. So, it's a good time to come to Jamaica, and everybody. Airbnb is going up in Jamaica too. <laughs> Lots of so. deals in Jamaica right now. Yeah. Okay, we we'll take a break right here. When we come back, we'll be talking about some of the more salacious mm -hmm. <laughs> issues arising in the last four months. Among them, Aishana's equal rights. Scatter Borel is here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a back. <laughs> Papa be a call, and my man name gone, so I need your love it, yeah. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. <laughs> All right, so we're back with our discussion on topical issues in Jamaican entertainment, in particular, dance hall. Nikki Z, Skeeter Burrell, and uh, Curtis, uh, the award-winning journalist from The Star, on our set right now discussing these issues. Nikki Z, I want to start with you, because we <laughs> want to talk about Equal Rights by Aishana. I just got started. A song about reciprocity in the bedroom. <laughs> you are all, take it away and tell us about it, what, what you think about it, all of a sudden, she was cool, a little bit cool. Oh yeah, she got all time. kind of points with that song right there. So. And, and, just, and she just injects herself right in the middle of the, the Shensia controversy, she just injects herself in the conversation. You know, um, I think we had a conversation about Aishana before, and I think what I said to you was, um, I think she's a young girl trying to figure out who she is in this business. Mm. I think she's figuring it out now. I really think she is. She's getting there. Um, I think she's getting there. I think, um, you know, for a while, she's always kind of under somebody's wing. She was under Foot to Hype's wing. Foot to's taking control of how it, her career is being steered. Mm -hmm. You know, she was with Down Sound. They had, you scatter, know. Scatter, man. Say scatter. No, no, but Down Sound scatter. is more than scatter. <laughs> she was Down under Sound scatter. Is more, no, under <laughs> <No, laughs> the <bus. laughs> Yes. I sound I'm gonna want you to make a song about me because I'm not saying it. <laughs> no, but really and truly, um, this is her now taking a stance that I haven't seen another female take. Every other woman, it's the same topics. I can get your money with the tightness, I can do this. She's like, listen, you want me to do this for you? Guess what? I'm gonna need you to do this back for me. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it it's created such a controversy only because there are men that really just wanted to just say, yes, finally I can admit to doing this, and they just can't. Because no matter how many men are sitting here and, and saying no equal rights, I can tell you, I've seen them off mic go, you know, so I just been on my bread during them. Because <laughs> they don't want their friends, so they have to say no, no, no. You know, and they're even using the strangest justification saying things. I've heard a DJ say, well, I have a daughter, um, and I can't play that. If anything, of all the songs you've been playing from Dong in to all kind of things, this should what you should should be what you're playing. Because mm -hmm. you're giving your daughter. But you know, Sissy <laughs> did it years ago. Are you familiar with that song? Yeah, yes. but she did it too early. <laughs> it was too early. It was too soon. Right, um, no. It was too soon. So, Skato, um, what do you think about the song? Do you have anything to do with it? No. Some are saying you wrote it. <laughs> no? 
I you we produced used to, it? No, no. no. We okay. used to, we Who's used the producer for the song? I have no idea, but we used to co-write together when she was at Down Sound. Mm -hmm. And she learned a lot because I remember Aishana was a singer before. Mm -hmm. So she did have to go in a little learning process. But music, if I'm music imprinting, I have to just understand it. Yeah. The, it's, a, it's a thing where you have to know for maneuver in other business. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think she understands it now, as Nikki said. Yeah. She grew to a point where she knows for maneuver. She understands say, a controversy break her. Mm -hmm. And her thing was, as far as me see, it is coming from me. I think never really rely upon a, a selector or a radio personality playing her song. Right. She have her own a fan base when she put out a song, then take it up. So, so she never did care if a radio man or a selector played to begin with. You know? It reinvigorates a, a big debate that we've always had, you know. It's a taboo topic. In Jamaica. It's a, it's a very, and people are now men versus women. Yes. Um, the sexually liberated against the more conservative. Mm -hmm. A whole back conversation going on and debates now about this. Curtis, you, from where you sit, um, is it getting serious, this song? Is it causing well, friends and friends to broke up and, and relationship and mash up? And <laughs> well, I'm not really sure what's going on in the bedroom. But um, for Aishana, I can say that she, she got her exposure to, con to controversy, right? Mm -hmm. And then following the, the, since she stopped singing about this old foot type thing, uh, her career dipped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, this young girl, Sensei, coming at the picture now. Mm -hmm. Remember, I know Aishana pride herself as the pretty girl in the dance hall, and mm -hmm. Sensei are pretty, you know? Mm -hmm. So me feel like Aishana looking Had at the mirror. Find you see the mirror, mirror on the wall <laughs> thing? When she asks who is the fairest of all, I'm sure it's a Sensei. Mm -hmm. on social media. Mm -hmm. Shensia is all over social right. media, so Aishana had to come with something. Mm -hmm. And I think this did the trick for her. Everybody had to about Aishana no, right but now. Just to even put more perspective on what he just said, yeah, Shensia had the spotlight, but you had other women that have been coming out this year. You even had Yannick come out with Ooh, her man, lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. The year. women were coming yeah. strong at oh. that exact all point. All okay. of them were coming from all directions. Beautiful women. Beautiful yeah. women. So and she then all rely, of a sudden, she out, rely of, out of Britain Nowhere, again. out of nowhere, she, she just would not wiped be left behind. It, she she wiped everybody off the board and just said, "Only pay attention over exactly. here." Exactly, and it worked. The mirror, mirror on the wall strategy she used. May I give it? Yeah, it's it's same, you know, same same name. The thing is, you know, a lot of people don't understand. Say, when you go to a struggling a dance hall arena and survive, yeah. turning a different person. It does. Alkaline went through real struggles, mm -hmm. right? Survive with a no off maneuver. Okay. Cartel went to real struggles yeah. when he was disassociated from the alliance and he mm -hmm. had to start all over by himself and build him Gaza mm -hmm. fan base. And I can count countless of others. And oh, the yeah. one, Beanie Man, in first major boo, the Mandela boo was stadium, when the whole stadium get up and yeah. said, Ooh. You know what I say? So it, it, if it don't break you, it build you. Build you. And just to warn our viewers that we are not. We're not able to give you a taste of the song or song. No, no, no. Nothing in it. No, no, no. All about juice. television, okay? All about juice. But you know where to find it. Those of you who are old enough to, 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 to listen to such a song. All right, so Massacre. Massacre is surging, you think? Um, Massacre? Skirt, yes, Massacre. Is he surging? I, 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 Massacre. Masika has always been an artist who prides himself in being a hardcore faction in a, in a dancer. Mm -hmm. Because he realized he, he grew up and idolized an artist like a killer uh, and so forth, you know? So a lot of people will say him not nah, sword to the top of order, but I think him doing what he wants to do, getting that street credibility and own it, he have serious competition out there, but he must survive with a work for him. Because he has been struggling for, Masika has been around trying for a long time. Yeah. And in the past year and a half now, you just seen things at work. It appears to me that these songs uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, have, have made his brand, yeah. are defining who he is. Is that, is that your take? He started out on that path. He had a song, I'm not remembering the name right now, where he dissed like about Body. five, six yeah. artists with busy mm -hmm. signal assassin and everybody. Mm -hmm. So I think from the initial, from the get go, as a young artist coming into the business like that, the bigger heads them are going to pray like, we're not support the youth. Mm -hmm. So it was, a th it was pushing against opposition. Yeah. Okay. So you see, because you notice, until I... Corey, Corey Todd put the machine behind right. him, he never did say anything for Massacre. One more thing too, outside of that, the, the, the music business has changed to a melody right. thing right now, and Massacre is still in the, DJ. Flow DJ hardcore thing. So, he's, 
when a popcorn and a alkaline and the people were mostly a sing song, mm -hmm. drink and do that on the hip hop scene and yes, create the same damage. Oh, yeah. He is not on that level where melodies are concerned. Mm -hmm. So I notice, think that is holding him back. If you notice, a lot of the new artists too, um, the way that their catalogs are building, they're not timeless catalogs. Yeah. A majority of it, I mean, I'm sorry to say, but it's more disposable tracks than than catalogs that will be able to be performed five years from now. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a scary thing as a person who loves music and is in the music business to see that the new artists coming out are, aren't really focusing on the quality music. They're just trying to get something out there. Yeah. Scatter, mm -hmm. are you getting your way now, sir? Are things changing for the better? You were music. Al you're always calling for the return of the good old days, well, the melody what? days. The thing is... Is it happening now? The thing is, what I see happening in dancehall right now, you still have Sean Paul and you still have yeah. Steve Marley and those guys Running it. making it by, by doing some songs that can appease to our international audience. Mm -hmm. We in Jamaica seem to be stuck here by, we say we're just a do music for our demographic. And we don't really want to look and study what them like. If you say, there's the same rhythm I Sean is on, that Ed Sheeran song. Why that song is so big, you know, the Ed Sheeran song, is because it's really an authentic dancehall rhythm. Yes. And it works. And people don't understand when you build an authentic dancehall mm -hmm. rhythm. It will work on an international platform. Right. Everybody building beats, taking it from hip hop and R&B. Speaking of That's which. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which. There are some songs that I think uh, may be helping to change, to change Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Right. The Steve Marley Pitbull. Pitbull. And those are all singles. Katy Perry, and singles. Skip, Skip Marley. Marley, singles. Kes Namde just singles did one with right. single again. Chronic. Chronic. When dancehall used to have an effect abroad, it right. used to be a juggling, mm -hmm. and the juggling rhythm them used to have something about them where them just scoop it up abroad. And it's not happening. Jugglings here now in Jamaica, they are not built in that fashion mm -hmm. again. Hold on, let us take a little yeah. piece of those songs that we just spoke about right. a while ago. Here we go. Baby, if it ain't a problem. That's a taste of some of these big songs that are very popular in Jamaica at the moment, and we believe that they are changing mm -hmm. how we consume music here on yeah. the island. Curtis, you All wanted right. to say something? From Skelter's point, that um, the artists are not really listening and, and paying attention to what is being um, used on the international scene based on our music. Mm -hmm. I think that we have been trying that in recent times with people like Conscience um, mm -hmm. doing Bro that. Um, on, yeah. yeah, of Gypsum. Uh, you see, like how Tory Lane sing over mm -hmm. that song? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, of Gypsum sing over a particular song. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that they are doing that, but mm -hmm. the labels aren't pushing our music. We don't have the major labels to get us no. in, the, in the network and thing. I, mean, I know Nicky Z and Apollos doing right. their thing and thing, but yeah. we don't, I know back in the days, like, what, he's saying, what he's saying is very true. And that's so, why when I took the position at Haplos, I noticed that because you have people who distribute music, but they're not calling DJs. They're not saying, hey, we got this new track from this artist. I know that this artist is heavier in this area than that area, so I know if this artist drops something, I can more get these, maybe hip hop, oh. even DJs to jump on it. This is what is supposed to be done, and, and it was never being done. Honestly, you're reading the, the scene. You're right, reading the scene. Right, I read the scene, there. and like I try to reach out to different DJs that I know will maybe more try to break this song than that song, because I know this DJ loves reggae, mm -hmm. so if I have this Capleton or this rhythm with, with these type of artists, call this DJ, okay. because they can more break it than that DJ. There was, mm. There's nobody that's been doing that for us, and, and that is horrible. So that's why you see a song like Kipperich Happy Life, um, it came out and only a couple people played it because the bigger scheme, they didn't really know how to access it. How do they get it? Who was sending it to them? Who knows mm -hmm. these DJs to get it to them? We're also trailing in, in, the, in the streaming department of oh, music. Yeah, we are. It's like we're still waiting on one day vinyl will come back. No. Vinyl will <laughs> never come back in Jamaica. Is a source and vinyl did to make a comeback. A small one. In Europe. Yeah, for collectors. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we need to we need to tap into that That's streaming thing. That is that is the yeah. next way to get. That's yeah. taking over digital. And we are trailing right there. Right. Okay. So let's continue with some. More. Can we talk a little more of you? Yes. <laughs> you? <laughs> yes. Nikki Z versus. Sean Kingston. Oh my God! It just Sean Kingston, Nikki. It's, it's that's so wasn't a good friend. Okay, first of all, <laughs> you know 
I start with this one? Yeah. Okay, um, you know how they say a drunken mind speaks a sober tongue? Yeah. I wasn't exactly drunk, but Theraflu speaks mm. a lot. So what my whole point of what I put in a comment, which is my business, over 200 and something odd comments that were saying the same thing that which I was is, saying. Which was, Which is, is, when he made the announcement that he's gonna be on Sunfest, we were like, wah, wah. You know, like, really? My thing is, okay, everybody's like, oh, support him, support him. When you were Sean Kingston, in the meat of Sean Kingston, mm -hmm. when you were around with Justin Bieber and you was going all over, riches was flowing, and Jamaica's calling, you weren't around for us. You might have said our name, but you weren't around for us. So now when, if you Google Sean Kingston, all you're seeing is he owed this person money, this person slapped him up. Um, you're not seeing, here's a new song. So now you want to come to Jamaica, then you want to voice a song with Alkaline, and then you want to turn around and voice a song with Cartel, go to the dance, diss Alkaline, now that you have the song with Cartel. I just don't like when artists, careers, seem to be faltering, and they think Jamaica is the place to come save you. We are not the place for your leftovers. So Nikki, what's going on at Happiness? Is your new job? You're no longer in radio? Yeah. What's going on with you? I had quite a few offers. You look happy, <laughs> like Happiness. I am, no, I, I really am. Um, right now, it, we're in that transition where we're just, I'm trying to make sure I learn as much as possible so I can do as much as possible. But, you know, we're trying to even get more employees in because like with what I'm trying to do, it's so rapid fire, we need the hands because we want to make sure the music is put out So you're there. recruiting now? You're employing? Oh, we're definitely recruiting. Um, I just hired another social media person to keep up with what I, I want out there. Because mm -hmm. I, I need to make sure our content is constantly put in the faces of people. Find every single website we can be on, every nook, every cranny to make sure the words are getting out there. So, you know, it, it takes more hands. And I'm, I'm just excited because it's this place where I get to be creative and come up with new ways to sell the music and, and get the artists to even understand how they can better sell the music. Because I don't think anybody ever talks to the artists and say, hey, you know, don't just put up your song on iTunes the same day. That's silly. Like, who does that? You know, you want at least a week buffer to say, my fans, you know, this is coming out. Get excited about it. You know, spend that little change on me. You know, and, but I don't know why or who's teaching people put things up same day and just throw things out because that's why it makes things harder for it to sell. If you're just throwing things out there, oh, by the way, my song's up today. It, mm. How are you stimulating anything? Some How excitement. are you... How are you creating excitement? So, you know, I'm I'm just in a place where I forever get to be creative. So I'm happy. So I see. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, lady and gentlemen, for coming and sharing with us. And, Equal um, rights and justice, everyone. And for weighing in on these big topics in dance all right now. <laughs> Curtis, uh, dance. bless up. Yeah, Thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, sweetie. Thank Good you. to see you again. And sketch us, sir. Blessed love. So that's that's it. That's our panel discussion right here on stage. But still to come, yeah. Kip Rich with a song responding to Equal Rights by Aishana. Uh -huh. Is he supporting or dissing the song? After the break, Kip Rich, one and one. Me done with my juice. Me no one see Pepsi. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back on his last visit to our stage. Kip Rich promised to return with something big, and he has. But he's also smack in the middle of the biggest controversy in Jamaica at the moment. We say equal rights and justice. Not ignorant people are the costes. The equal rights controversy. Everybody knows that now. I care what you tell me. Now I'm put you in on my plate. The one generated by Aishana. Kip Rich, right now, right here on our stage. Kip, welcome, sir. Wow, oh, boy. Good to have you, sir. It's a pleasure every time, you know? Okay, before we jump into your big sound. Oh, yeah. talk first about the ski that you just did with Ellie. How, how is that doing? It's working? Yeah, yeah, it's doing pretty well overseas. All right, so you're counteracting Aishana. Isn't Correct. she your friend, Correct. by the way? Are you fr she's Correct. your friend. Yeah, man, Aishana good. 
Yes, yeah, so you're counteracting the song. No, I'm correct the song. You're correcting the song? Yeah, correcting the song. And I met the man them know, say, watch out. Yes. When you're not, when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're not asleep, right, you're not. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say eat right. Eat right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? This bag juice up me and, 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 and them kind of thing. They can't do nothing to your structure. You have to, you have to consume properly. Mm -hmm. You know? Proper, proper food. Proper food intake mm -hmm. in the structure, you know, to keep yourself going. So you won't fall short in certain area. So you think equal rights yeah. is all about an alternative to. The, the conventional way, or what is the, yeah, is an alternative to the, what is the, the, um, the accepted norm. And that's the thing there. Yes. If, 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 in, if it, the ladies them say, boy, if them now get the pleasure from the waist, yes. them going to ask the pleasure from the face. So, uh, so, uh, so, that's what they're saying. Is that the, what Aishana is saying, though? Aishana? Yes. Aisha. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she kill it in our class, you know. You know, no. she should not kill it in our no, class, people. No, she she should not kill it in our class, you know. She could, she could, trust me. Yeah. She could. Why? She come up blatant and I say, boy, she, she, she want, she want, she want, she want the thing. Because from the man, ask her for the thing, she go ask she, her. She want it. So, reciprocity. So, she yes, said, if, yeah. if we do, if I do you, you do me too. That, that's the point. That's yes. the point. So me, I said to the man, I say, yo, listen, you know, the phone not get that, 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 that thing that show at we, that question there, ask for that, for, for that thing they're giving us. Make sure, say, you know, proper open yourself, so, when you know work, you know work. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to ask for nothing else. So a man with no, no stamina. Yeah. Have to resort to that. No. It, 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 it end up, man with no have no state it, power, you yeah, say. Yeah, it end, it, it end up <laughs> from them kind of way there. OK, so what's the name of your song, sir? What's, it, what's the title? No Eating Rights. No Eating Rights. Yeah. And, and it's, it's out, right? And people can go get it. Yeah, man, it's out there. It's out there. And so she's getting a lot of She's equal that rights, and you say no eat, eating, eating rights. rights. And I want to say, the, 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 the woman, they might get some good comment. You're getting the, women support. Yeah, women support out there strong. Because I remember saying, even though it out there as a norm, and really everybody got in the way they still it up. So it's, yeah. yeah, and, and you know. So it I get the support from, from a lot of females. See, when them say them like, oh, me said, you know, me not, me, me not, me not, me not attack or aggressive. Me just attack what it is and what cause the whole vibe. Yeah. You're about 60, um, 60 thousand views already. already in how many in days? Two days? In two days. Yeah. So, yes, and, and lots of them are women and they are commenting. Yeah, they're commenting. But, so, but one would get the sense that this, this issue is split up down the middle men on one side mm -hmm. and women on the other. Do you yeah. get the sense that that is so? That women support Aisha no? more than, than. Yeah, some men are support her too. Come here, man. Be here, man. I support her. Man, I support her. And come in Sunday too, when man, I support her too. See? So, you know, so, 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 so you get support. You're getting support. Yeah, I get support. And she, and she, and she gets. She's, some, she's, she's get get, you're getting a lot of women supporting you. Yeah, woman and she's and getting man. men to support her. She, no, she get woman and man. Woman well, and most of women supporting her. Yes. And so man, I support you. Yeah, man, I support you. <laughs> man, I support you. No, man, 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 I support you. Man, I support you. But I tell you, say you have man to where I support. She also. Okay, cool. Your song, um, Happy Life. Yeah. When I heard the songs first time, I wouldn't, I couldn't even believe it was you. I didn't even know it was you. Yes, yeah, whole I, different. I, and I thought this song was different sound. Was destined part. to be a big hit song. Yeah. Which it may be. Tell me, wh wh where's the song? Well, the song soon to be released right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very soon. Yeah, like, so, like in, so what, what do you mean by that? Because yeah. we heard the song being played yeah, a lot yeah, in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah, it was just played. It was not an no, official. But it, but no, but it wasn't officially released. And now we have the video, the official video. Yes. Putting out now. But and, what happened, Kipo? Because. With, with that gap, right? That's, yes, that gap, that song <laughs> should have been where it belonged. <laughs> Among the classics already. True, true, true. It should have been, but some, some little mishaps happen in between. Yes. You know, 
with the whole produ production, with the rights and all them kind of things. That's so okay. that the kind of slow up the whole vibe. Because mm -hmm. everybody want them cut from it and things. So we'd have to get that settled. And then we move forward. So everything is cleared up now? Yeah, everything, everything, everything good right now. Yes? Everything good right now. And so that's why you're here now with the video and yeah. ready for the world. And ready for the world with the song, the song, the song. Happiness, releasing the song very soon. Nicky Z's Nicky Z. Happiness. Nicky Z. Nicky Z is behind the Wagwa with it right now. So let's yeah. see. Let, let's take a look right here. So we don't show ID. When we step up in a VIP, them know who we be. Life on the party. Every day I'm my birthday. So we don't show ID. When we step up in a VIP, them know who we be. The life on the party. Every day I'm my birthday. It's an unreleased hit song. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it's a hit that is not released. Yeah. It's just released now, and it was a hit before. It seems like it it could do well in summer. What's your take on that? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Now summer song. Yeah, yeah. It have a summer feel, and the song is a, a like a birthday song. Yes. You know, every day somebody a birthday. Yes. So this song will be here forever. Same. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's a happy it's, song. Yeah, it's, rep, it rep, it's representing birthday, so. So, so we know you, 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 you've been trying to shed the, mm -hmm. the clash image. Yeah. And if this song don't do it, if this video don't do it, boy, <laughs> you better go back to clash. Boy, <laughs> this yeah. has got to be it. Because you look, you look, you don't look like the well, clash, the well clash new with yourself. No, no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to do it for you, you. So how yeah. does the summer look now for you in terms of booking? Well, Europe for the summer. So you're doing Europe? Yeah, Great. doing Europe. So about month and that. Keep up. Summer look good. Good to see you, sir. Every time. Good to see you. And, um, <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> equal rights in Europe. I don't know. I don't know what that's in Europe. The no <laughs> equal rights in Europe. <laughs> no <laughs> well, eating rights. <laughs> you in you know eating rights in Europe. I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, good luck. And we look forward to your, we'll track you. We'll be yeah, tracking right. your tour in Europe. True. And things. So all the best with this. And we'll be tracking this video to see how it's doing. <laughs> all right. So there you have him right here in this segment. Keep rich. And that's our show for this week. Winford Williams on behalf of all of us. Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Welcome, happy life. Miggle fingers high. Tell haters bye I'm gonna risk it Enough money, goodbye Smoking the breeze Cool liquor give me brain freeze Me can't have a bad day Every day I'm a birdie Thanks for watching our video. If you're not yet a subscriber, click now and be on stage always.